Next, we're going to work on the cost of service for each one of those transactions in the transactions sheet. So how do we get that? Well, we know that the quantity times the cost of each individual service can be multiplied to get to that number. So let's go ahead and continue with the next instructions to get us to complete this. Looking at this um, transaction list, I do not have a cost for each specific unit in the spreadsheet, so I have to go look it up somewhere else. So I'm going to use the same thing that I use for my revenue, which is a lookup um, based on the product name or the service name. And where is the price list or the cost list? Well, it's right here on the same range. In this case, I can use the same thing, right? And instead of using the third column for to return the retail price for each one of those services that matches my D2 column or my D2 cell, I'm going to use the second column, and that's going to go to the cost. Now, this is left to right, one, two, three, right? And I also need to let Google Sheets know that this indeed is not sorted. So once I know the cost, that makes sense. That's 1263. Let's go just go ahead and verify it. 1263, yeah, flat envelope overnight happens to be 1263. But that's not what I'm looking for. I need to look for the uh, total cost of goods sold. In this case, uh, I got to multiply it times the number of quantity, the quantity of, of service services that we sold on that particular transaction. So then that will be the cost of goods sold for that transaction. If I want to copy this down, I will make sure that I anchor my range that I'm looking for. And once I do that, I can copy this down and then we are all set for the cost of goods sold for the entire set of transactions. Now, uh, just remember that this is not fully uh, rounded. And, and so it, if you try to use this with a calculator, it might not work perfectly.